Hello. Um, today is a Saturday. The Saturday itself looks flyable, but I have work, and tomorrow Sunday is going to be rain all day long, so no flying, which leaves me wanting to fly something. Um, and I remembered I've got VR, so uh, this is my very, very messy living room unfortunately neither myself or my wife are particularly clean but uh i do have a halfway decent computer the specs are interesting to those who care i'll put them on the screen um but i've got a vr setup it's an htc vive and that means i can also play glider sim which is probably well, it's, it's one of two uh, paragliding, paramotoring simulators that I've ever played, but it's the best because it's not web-based, the other one being XCSim, which is, you know, on a browser, it's not super good. Um, so I'm going to play that. Hi, Safi. And we're going to see what it's like. Now that I've actually flown, I flew paragliding simulator, uh, glider sim, uh, for probably three or four months before I actually flew. And now that I've actually flown, I'm going to revisit it to see if it's really realistic. Obviously, you can't feel yourself swinging around and bumping, and you, you don't have the vibration. Actually, I do have a, a shock sensor on this, this chair. But uh, we're going to go through that. And if you haven't flown and you think it's interesting and you want to give it a shot and you have VR, then you know, this is a little cheaper than buying a pair of motors. So let's give that a try. Safi's excited to try it, too. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys know what continuity errors are? Okay, so here's the first screen. Um, you actually get to pick a couple different wings. Uh, paraglider is a normal paraglider. You've got the same glider, but on a motorized trike. A mini wing and a speed wing if you want to do some slaloms. This is some kind of... Um, I guess ski resort town out west. So there's a there's a ski lift to the left of us. You can slow them down, but we're gonna try trike first here. You can also pick where you start. Of course, it's a trike, so we don't need to start on the ground. Or start on a hill. I prefer starting with the cows. Those are cows, I promise. So hit start. Uh, the wing stays above you, it is flexible, but it doesn't really collapse, and it doesn't start on the ground. I always thought that was weird, but you get used to it. Anyways, uh, grip the controllers to grab and pull brake, left and right. Pull either trigger, or throttle, I'm left throttle, so I'll pull the left trigger. And just go, um, leaning forward. We'll also do the throttle and speed bar. So, here we go. So, a lot of my experience on my wing, I'm right in the middle of the weight range, is the climb rate is a little, a little steeper than this. Um, every wing's a little different. This is a pattern of a ozone wing, but who knows what it actually is, who knows how much the trike is weighed, and at the end of the day it's a video game. So, uh, my first gripe is that those cows are not very realistic. I should be removing. Um, and the balloons also don't move regardless of wind, but that's okay. So if you fly around balloons, don't fly over them. They like to be able to see you. And if you're on top of them, they literally can't see through the top of their balloon. Also, the top of the balloon is hot because it rises and there's a giant thermal. So you don't want to be there, and they don't want you there. Yeah, uh, climb rate's pretty, pretty shallow. Could be the, the physics weight. As far as looking turn, feels about right. The, the brake progression 
the spot on, and it does rumble in your hand as you pull it. All these little arrows you're seeing are air movement. So if you fly the paragliding part of it, you can judge where the lift is by these little arrows and fall off. One thing it doesn't do very well is the pendulum effect, forward and backward. It doesn't really rock you very hard. Uh, those little spirals there are thermals. I'm not going to get into one, but they go up, I promise. And this glide rate feels pretty shallow, but um, it, is, it is handling like a paraglider. Try a very sloppy wing over here. Yeah, it has a tendency to not really stall. collapse and it, it, it does move as you bend it but it won't really simulate you needing a reserve throw so I guess you could use this to test the basis of acro can let go of the brakes because your arms do get sore Leaning is basically just moving your head. But, uh, weight shift, you know, as far as that works, does feel about right. And we've also got stalls, so both brakes deep. And down we start to go. I haven't stalled my wing, and I don't plan to, but I feel like that's pretty spot on. Yeah, as, as far as seeing what it would look like at least, this is really pretty accurate. Let's try landing here. Thumbs up, avoid the cows, which I still haven't moved. Very disappointed. <laughs> the dude always groans. It's like, oh, the worst hit he's ever taken in his life. But, uh, yeah, there it is. Wing returns to overhead, of course. We could take off again from here, but I'm going to go try the gliding part. That airplane kind of worries me. I'm going to bump the wind speed up just a little bit. So with no motor, you uh, lean forward to simulate a foot launch. Grab the brakes, lean, I guess this would be your torpedo run, and off you go. See the green arrows here, showing lift. Pretty mild, for today at least. And here you can see what the wing's doing as you brake. It does fold down the edges.
kind of a cool chase cam view. I am not going to kick that bird, I promise. Let's see if we can make it to the landing zone. I'm gonna give it a bit of speed bar. I've never used a speed bar, but I do imagine this would be what it's like. The whole wing tips forward a bit and you pick up quite a bit of speed. Kind of penetrate through all this lift. I'd love to try this actually sitting in a harness with bungees to the ceiling for brake pressure. I feel like it wouldn't wear my arms out quite so bad. spiral here to lose some altitude. Oh, a little deep. And check the wing. I found that in the free flying paragliding. It's uh, very, 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 very floaty. I'm not sure if this is what it's like. Again, haven't done it, but I'm having a hard time getting down. And I'm not really in a thermal or anything. Oh yeah, check out this humble brag. Glider sim harness edition. I guess it's for uh, flight schools. More power to them. Looks like fun. See, I'm halfway deep in the brakes doing a pretty steep turn. Really not losing a lot of altitude. Alright, ready for the flare. And a crosswind. Can't deploy your feet, and there's no running. too bad so there you have it um, VR paragliding simulator for days when you just can't get out to fly I uh, really hope the developer keeps up with this it's a very cool setup the the bones the framework's really really well thought out really planned um, new locations flatlands for paramotoring um, different wings and a little bit of revision to the physics and I like to be able to actually like you know, get the wing overhead, launch, uh, are all things I'd like to see, but overall I'm really happy with it. The glide rate being shallow as it is is about my only gripe as a as a new pilot. The, the wing I have at least is not that efficient, but um, yeah, knowing what I know now, I would totally buy it and be comfortable showing people, if they're interested in flying, that uh, that's, that's the feel. It's pretty close to what it's like, other than the actual actual force against you it's it's good it's really good so short video but i hope you enjoyed that review and if you like i'll leave a link to the steam page it's a, it is on steam uh you have to buy it i don't remember what it costs it's not a lot it's 25 dollars as of this writing which is not bad considering what you get as long as you have vr it does play in normal screened mode, but I have no idea how that, how well that uh, represents anything. I know VR is, it's, it's close, it's good. So um, give that a try, links in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.